Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to fix the packet loss in Apex Legends. So basically I'm gonna try to make this as, so as short and easy as possible. And before we start I just want to say subscribe to my channel. And now we can start. So first of all uh, what you want to do is set a static IP uh, address. Uh, you can do this by clicking on the search bar and type cmd okay and right click on it and click on run as administrator click on yes now what you want to do is type ipconfig slash all and press enter and this should come up Now what you want to do is write down the IPv4 address, the subnet mask, the DNS server, okay so there it is, and the default gateway. So I'm gonna open a notepad, notepad file, I'm gonna set it here. And I'm gonna copy that. Okay, and uh, default gateway and the DNS servers. Okay, now once you do this, you can just close CMD. The next step, what you want to do is open the control panel. So click on the search bar and type control panel and open it. Next what you want to do is click on view network st status and tasks. Okay. And now once you're here you want to click on change adapter settings. Okay. Now what you want to do is right click on your Wi-Fi. And click on properties now double click on internet protocol version 4 and basically this should come up so if obtain an IP address automatically is checked then you don't have a static IP address and you can set a one uh, with click on uh, Click on use the following IP address and now what you want to do is just paste all of the uh, paste uh, the uh, IPv4 address and the sub subnet mask and the default gateway. So just copy it, paste it, uh, the subnet mask and the default gateway okay and now what you want to do is just enter the DNS servers into the preferred DNS server and alternate DNS server I made a mistake I deleted the default gateway so for that I'm just gonna correct it okay so there it is now what you want to do is change the IP address uh, just change the last number so enter uh, any number that you like from uh, from uh, 1 to 254 I'm gonna set it at uh, 101 uh, just don't let it be the same as the one you copied and click on OK OK, okay. And basically now what you want to do is just change the IPv4 address so you remember and you don't need any of this anymore. Okay, so this is the IPv4 address that I entered. Uh, it's basically the same uh, but I just changed the last number. Remember that it is a really important step to change the last number from 1 to 254, uh, 254 whichever number you want it is okay. Okay. Now what you want to do is open Google Chrome 
and type the IP address on uh, your router. So basically it should be on the back of it uh, and enter it and the and this should show up. Mine is a Technicolor and this is the login page. Now just log in. So for me I don't have a username, I only have a password which is admin. You can look up the username and password for your router on the internet. That's how I found mine, but it's also maybe written on the back of your router uh, where uh, where uh, the IP address is also written on the back of your router, etc. And now click on login. Okay, so now once you're in, uh, every router's menu, menu is different, so I'm gonna maybe explain it, uh, I'm gonna explain it how to do it on my router, but it's basically uh, similar. Uh, if you can't do this, if you can't find anything, just search on the internet. I'm gonna uh, post a page uh, called portforward.com, uh, which have uh, which has over a thousand uh, routers and how to uh, forward ports on them, and basically those are the same steps. Now what you want to do is go to advanced and find forwarding. Okay, now once you're here, uh, this should show up. And what you want to do is create an IPv4. Uh, on other routers, it may say just add. Uh, on mine, it says create IPv4. Click on it. Enter the local IP address that you entered previously, the changed one. So 101. And now what you want to do is set the local start port, uh, local end port, uh, and uh, local start port, local end port, external end port, and external start port to uh, 3074. 374 local end port, external start port, external end port, and set the protocol to TCP. Set the description to Apex, it doesn't matter, and click on uh, uh, set enabled on and basically what you want to do is click on apply and there it is okay so basically if you didn't understand me I'm gonna walk through uh, this one more time first of all what you want to do is set them uh, set a static IP and you can do that by uh, going to CMD, uh, copying the IPv4 address, the sub subnet mask, the default gateway, and the DNS server. Then go to control panel, click on your Wi-Fi, go to properties, click on IPv4 and internet protocol version 4. And basically just paste all of these except the IPv4 address. You want to change the last number and it, you can change it anywhere from 1 to 254. Once you do this, uh, just open Google Home, enter the IP address of your router, which you can find on the back of your router, or just search for it on the internet, search for it on Google, uh, log in, you can also find the password and uh, username on Google, that's where I find mine, uh, maybe it's on the back of the uh, router also, and once you log in, you want to go to forwarding, advanced forwarding, and just do the same as I did. Just make sure that you choose that you set the start end uh, 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 start the end port uh, to 3074. That's for Apex Legends. Now what you can just close this. You can restart your router if you want. You don't have to uh, restart the game. And basically that's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and comment if you need any help. Bye.